Now that you're familiar with acrylic paint and nail art brushes, let's try out a vintage rose design that's seemingly more difficult than it really is. Before we start, let's take a look at a rose. Notice the majority of the rose is the same color. However, as the petals curl into the body of the rose and away from the light, they get darker and where the petals are closest to the light source, it's almost white. Keeping this in mind will help you achieve a more realistic rose. So let's start by picking a main color for the rose. I'm using a pink, but I wanted it to be a tad darker, so I mixed in some red. I also added some of the pink to the red for a transition color. Now we need a darker shading color for the parts of the rose that are deeper and highlighting color for the parts closest to the light source. To keep it in the same color family, just add a little black to the main color. I added it to the transition red for a darker shade. In this case, I'm going to use straight white for the highlighting since the pink is already pretty light. The next thing you need is the right tools. I'm using two brushes from Winstonia. The first brush is a fine line brush that has a little fuller body to pick up more product. I'll be using this to apply the majority of the color. For the more intricate details, I'm using a super tiny brush from the Berry Wine Collection. Now let's begin. Start by preparing the nail. I'm using a white background for this design. Load your brush with the main color and start at the center of the rose by making a small circle. Keep layering in more petals. It helps to keep a picture nearby to refer to. At this stage, your rose will look like a blob of color, but don't worry, that's what our shading and highlight color is going to correct. Now switch to your tiny brush and use the red to graph out where the petals are. This is the start of the shading behind the petals. Next I blended the color out on the lower open petals. Then I used the darker shading color and dotted it over the red. Let some of the red still show, this will make a smooth transition. One of the advantages to nail art is that you don't necessarily have to be really precise to achieve the effect you're going for. Just a couple dabs and dots here and there will yield a good result. Now pick up the highlight color and go around the top edges of the petals. This will be right below the red shading. To finish the design, I added a few more roses, then used a green paint and applied the same shading and highlight technique to add some stems and leaves. I also used red and pink for rosebuds to fill out the pattern. This can be a timely design, so I suggest limiting it to an accent nail. And yeah, this will be harder to do with your non-dominant hand, but you can always make a decal using the same techniques or show a friend this video and be like, hey, help me out. Or just try it out with your non-dom and where there's a will, there's a way. On the other nails, I just have a plain soft pink color with a flaky polish over it. And I think that just about covers it. Don't forget to comment down below what Nail Art 101 video you'd like to see next.